The Baby Dragon is one of the few troops in Clash of Clans who have never received a single nerf, which is impressive considering it has been in the game for over 7 years. But what's so special, or maybe not special, about the Baby Dragon that will lead Supercell to never nerf it? Since, I mean, you see it in a ton of different attack strategies and it is pretty strong. Well, that's what we're going to be going over today, so let's get right into it. The Baby Dragon was released in May of 2016, and it was actually a trip that originated from Clash Royale. Baby Dragon was unlockable at Tunnel 9, and it was a really unique troop for the time, since it was the first one that actually had some sort of special ability to go with it, which was its Tantrum ability. And this is what would really make it special and bring a lot of hype to it, since there's no other troop that had any sort of other variable in a way when it came to attacks. All other troops just did their own thing, but Baby Dragon was different since it had special circumstances in which its tantrum ability was activated, and those were that it couldn't be too close to any other air troop. And this was really a surprise to many people at the time, since pretty much all other air troops or armies at the time were used in more spammy attacks where there would be a ton of them. And while people obviously did use baby dragons in mass armies, those just weren't really as strong and I can't really think of any situation where mass baby dragons would be better than normal dragons in balloons. So this ability would really make the baby dragons better off as more solo troops since their ability gave them a rage effect and this is essentially what made them really good for funneling. Obviously they were a bit confusing for a bit when they were first added but people did soon figure out just how good they were for funneling and so their usage as funnel troops started increasing and I mean nowadays it feels like a ton of the Tunnel 9 attack strategies use somewhere between 1 and 3 baby dragons for funneling and they have really become such a big part of the game. All start from Tunnel 9 since, well, that's when you unlock them. One of the most popular type of strategies around Tunnels 9 and 10 are the ones with some sort of Golem, Wizard, and Witch combo. And you can obviously swap some of them with substitutes, but overall this is the main and most popular type of army you would really see. They would really focus on attacking from one side and kind of deploying the attacks in different stages with the golems and wall breakers going first to tank and open up the base and then it'll be the other DPS and support troops that go out the back. But before all of that, a majority of the time you would have baby dragons that would go in and actually set up the funnel so that the rest of the attack would go smoothly. And how this looked would depend on the base, but typically the baby dragons would just be placed on either side of where you were going to deploy your troops to destroy the buildings on the outside so that the main army would just focus on the inside. And this was extremely important because if you messed up the funnel then that could completely ruin your attack if the army went around the outside of the base. And this would really be like the main way people use baby dragons even as you moved up to higher town hall levels. I mean around like town hall 12 people obviously would just much rather use electro dragons but outside of that the baby dragons were still very popularly used for funneling especially when it came to ground armies. And this is a major reason why Supercell would never nerf them because of how useful they proved to be. And also just how there aren't exactly many other alternatives people can use that are as effective. Plus it's not like funneling is a broken mechanic since the rest of the army is really what destroys the base. The funneling just sets it up. And so if Supercell ended up nerfing the baby dragon in any major way, then it would just completely disrupt funneling from town on 9 all the way to 16 and it will piss off a lot of players. But outside of just funneling, the baby dragon is also used for a couple of other things. Another strategy that had really started becoming somewhat popular was actually the baby dragon paired with the queen walk and this acted both as a push and a funnel. And the reason this worked was because the baby dragon was a relatively low housing space troop that could deal quite a bit of damage and it was an air troop meaning that the healers wouldn't heal the baby dragon and would stay focused on the queen instead. Plus the queen was able to act as a shield for the baby dragon since it was obviously a bit squishy and on its own it wouldn't survive long in a push. And with both of them paired together, they were obviously quite strong and it was more effective than just the standard queen walk and it was used straight from tunnel 9 and is still somewhat used at the higher tunnel levels today. And this strategy was also made even better when the flame flinger was introduced since it was another thing you could add to the push and it provided a ton of value just because of its range and the damage it did. 
And if Susa ended up nerfing the baby dragon, then it most likely wouldn't be used in this type of strategy. And while this obviously wouldn't be the end of the world, it also just would feel very unnecessary and would ruin something good for basically no reason or benefit. But outside of this, another really popular thing the baby dragons used to be popular for was with farming. And obviously, I know this strategy is basically non-existent nowadays with the introduction of the sneaky goblins and also the removal of training costs. But back in the day, farming with mass baby dragons was actually very popular and effective. The main reason for this was that the baby dragons were relatively cheap when compared to what they could do. And most times at the higher town hall levels, Things that goblins weren't really strong enough to break a little deeper into a base for more loot. But the baby dragons obviously were. You would normally just surround a base with the baby dragons and the tenants room ability wasn't really used. But it also didn't exactly matter since the purpose of the attack was just to get collectors and storages on the outsides. And not to actually get into the core of the base. So surrounding a base typically that you get most of the loot and this was more effective than the normal goblins or maybe even the barge strategy and overall it was something that a ton of people had used. The only reason people don't really use baby dragons for farming anymore is because training costs obviously don't exist so you can just use whatever troops you like. Plus past 10 or 11 you can just use the sneaky goblins which are now the best farming troop in the game and are actually OP so it's not really a surprise as to why the baby dragons kind of fell off in that regard. So I mean if Supercell ended up nerfing the baby dragons and it obviously obviously wouldn't affect this aspect, meaning they once again have no reason to actually nerf the baby dragons in this regard and it's most likely why they never will in the near future. But the baby dragons had one final purpose that I haven't talked about yet and it is that they are really good as cleanup troops, kind of like the opposite of funneling. Instead of being deployed first, they will be one of the last troops to be deployed and the purpose of this would be to just clean up any buildings that your main army may have missed or to start destroying stuff on the opposite side of the base from where you attacked from just to make the battle go by quicker and ensure that you don't run out of time meaning that this would be a pretty important role and this would work because there really wouldn't be any other troops near the baby dragon meaning it would have its ability and it was something that could also go well with maybe some wizards and archers to accompany it in the cleanup process and i think even if supercell ended up nerfing the baby dragons then it wouldn't really affect them much in this regard so there really wouldn't be a reason to nerf them so so overall, baby dragons have really just become key supporting troops that are used in a ton of different town halls and attacking strategies. And while they can play important roles, they aren't exactly broken or anything because they aren't the ones dealing the majority of the damage. And if Supercell were to nerf the baby dragons, then it would for sure disrupt so many different things and essentially for no reason. Which is why Supercell obviously isn't going to nerf them. Plus, the baby dragons are also very loved by the community just because of how they look, which is another small reason why they wouldn't be nerfed. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.